Speaking of education experts, always nice to check in with Ken Gutman, who is the superintendent of the Walled Lake Consolidated School District. Ken, you're looking good. You have a different backdrop today. I like it for those watching on. Uh, I do. I thought I thought I'd represent Walled Lake School this morning. You're doing you're doing a really good job. Let me thank you because I looked at the uh, you know everything these days is about metrics on the internet. And and I looked at the metrics from the days that you're involved with the show. Last time you your schools participated, we had over 2,600 people watch the show on Facebook. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. So you guys are doing a really good job getting the word out. And the more people that know about all the information we're sharing here in the Megacast, I think we're all better off. So thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. I appreciate being on with you, and I really love the Wadley Schools community and, and know that uh, they uh, they show up. Well, since we talked last, the governor uh, talked to all of us uh, late last week, and uh, schools now confirmed, as we anticipated, closed for the year. What's that mean in Wald Lake? Well, it means education continues, albeit not the way we'd like it to continue. So if I had my way, we'd be back in school today. We'd see our kids and our staff and we take care of them the best we could there. But it means that education will continue for us, albeit virtually. And so uh, I, I have to reiterate something I shared with you the last couple of times. I could not be more proud of our, our staff, our teachers, our administrators, and our parents and community who continue to just be creative and work hard to make sure we're still taking care of children. And we recognize this is a really difficult time and we recognize this is not something we were set up to do three, four weeks ago. But we're still continuing to take care of kids, and uh, kudos to everyone who works for Wild Lake Schools and lives in the community. Well, you're doing a good job. Your staff's doing a good job. The teachers are doing a good job, and I know the community is all coming together, and it's a recurring theme with every superintendent. We've had the pleasure of talking to uh, West Bloomfield, Bloomfield Hills, uh, the Avondale School District, and today, today we're going to check in with the Troy School District later on in the show. And It's a big responsibility that I think you guys are all standing up well. A, continue to educate our students, but uh, as pillars of our residential communities in suburban Detroit, uh, there are a ton of services that you're offering uh, and and just also making sure that students have something to do with their time. We've said it before, Ken Gutman, but I just can't envision a situation where we had all of these students that normally would be in school buildings uh, just running around with nothing to do. It's it 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 it's uh, it's a challenging thought. Yeah, we're giving them a lot to do, but certainly uh, it's it's a challenge at home, and it's a challenge for our parents who have jobs as well, and, and those who are struggling who don't have jobs or formerly had jobs, it's tough to continue that educational piece at home when you know that there are families that are struggling with it as well. Not to mention our teachers are highly trained teachers, right? They've spent years learning and studying and honing their craft. And uh, it's hard for parents to, to continue that at home as well. So it, it, it's uh, we're making the best of a, of a really tough situation. What uh, what do you have that's new for us today? And I'm sure you're learning things as we go through the process. Uh, we know you're feeding people. We know you're educating people online. We know you're getting information uh, to your students and teachers. We know that you're helping with resources. I hope I haven't stolen your thunder. But, um, you know, can you talk a little bit about uh, those things? But first, what's going on that's new? Uh, well, I think you did say a lot of what we're doing and a lot of what's new. I don't know, it's spring break for us this week, that's new. And so uh, my heart goes out to our seniors and others who planned on traveling this week. I know they plan to be in, in more exotic locations than here in the greater West Bloomfield area and other areas around us. But um, <laughs> it's not the spring break we wanted, but we hope they're enjoying it. Talk a little bit more about that and, uh, and about just some of the routine that you're going through and things you're learning at Wald Lake schools that we're likely learning at our other schools around the area. Sure, so I think the big push this week is districts are developing in, in their continuity of learning plan as uh, specified through our, our, our last announcements that we would be home for the remainder of the year. And so we're de determining what the best way is to move forward to make sure that instruction continues while not penalizing those who don't have access to technology, although we find there are fewer and fewer these days but those who don't have access to technology or those who are not able to complete their assignments for other reasons, we wanna make sure we're able to take care of them as well. So districts are working on their continuity of learning plan. Those are due to our local intermediate school district by the end of the month. 
we hope to have ours completed pretty pretty soon. And uh, when we get back from spring break, it'll be, uh, I guess, business as the new usual. We'll continue to teach our kids. We'll continue to make sure they're learning and growing. Continue to reach out to our families and, and, and assess what their needs are and take care of them as well. And, and maybe there's an additional learning experience for students, you know, just brainstorming here a little bit. Um, you know, there's, there's, this is an incredible real-world learning experience for students, too, dealing with a crisis, uh, dealing with uh, some last-minute changes in their life, not freaking out when, when uh, their whole life gets uh, turned upside down and coming up with it. And then, you know, I think it's also an excellent opportunity to talk to the young people about volunteering and helping and giving back. What do you think about that? I agree as long as they can do it safely. And certainly it's a good time to talk to them about it, to set them up for success later for volunteering. Not sure how much we want children out right now. No, but I, I can tell you that it's. Oh, I, sorry, I get that. No, no, I get that. I mean, I'm not encouraging anybody to, like, you know, jump on their bicycle and go down to their neighborhood hospital. That's No, I'm not encouraging that. But go but ahead. There are real life lessons here, aren't there? I, I mean, you look at some of the uh, what's going around uh, on around our children. This is something we didn't experience in our lifetimes. And so how we can help them learn and grow through this experience will, will, will be really important for us. Ken Gutman from the uh, Wald Lake uh, Consolidated School District, the superintendent. Are you superintendents getting everything you need from the, the state, from the county, from uh, the federal government? Or uh, is there still more strategy going on to help our schools? Yeah, we're getting a lot. I think the governor's office has been great with us. I've spoken with our, our, our national leaders as well. We've had a chance to speak with our uh, Dr. Wanda Cook-Robinson, our ISD superintendent, who's been a fantastic support. And as Oakland County superintendents, we talk quite a bit. We're meeting several times a week uh, these days virtually. So we're getting what we need. My biggest concern going forward is what happens with state funding next year and a down economy. And uh, certainly maybe you could ask Rocky that going forward. I see he may be up next. But we'd certainly love the support uh, from uh, from our national government as well, because we recognize the economy is not heading the right way and school funding is dependent on a, on a robust economy. Yeah, well, I hope it all works. I hope these low gas prices don't. I mean, I love it. You know, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, I saw gas today for, I don't know, like a buck 60. And I, I talked to some folks that said there's gas in some areas of Metro Detroit uh, for under a dollar a gallon. But, you know, that's sales tax that money, too. And I just wonder how the state's going to get through all this. I'm, I'm sure we'll hear more. Right now, let's get through the next couple of weeks and keep as many people alive, keep our kids educated do the great things you and the other schools are doing, and I'm sure that will all uh, will all become clear. Anything else you want to add, Ken, before we have to run along? I do, Dave, if you don't mind. I just Please. want to remind everyone, we're going to take care of our families, our children. We're going to take care of our staff. We're going to continue to reach out and take care of every child every day, not just now, but beyond this pandemic. And I do want to stress, you're not alone. Anyone out there listening, reach out if we can help your child on our website or email at info at wlcsd.org. We want to make sure we take care of our kids and our community going forward as well. All right, Ken Gutman, thank you very much. A huge thanks to you, your school district, for uh, being our Facebook partner today, for the thousands of people that are watching. And I, this is, I think, good for students to tune in to the Megacast and see what's going on and learn a little bit about what's going on in our, in our community. So... Uh, I would assign all of your students uh, uh, an hour a day with a megacast. I don't know if you can work that in, but... Uh... We'll make it happen, Dave, as long as you'll <laughs> sign autographs when it's done. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I'd love, after this is over, I'd love to get around and meet some more people. So, uh, And including right. you in person and everybody in Wald Lake. Thank you very much for being a part of the show today. Thank you. All right, Ken Gutman, he is the superintendent of Wald Lake Schools, joining us today. And a big thank you to Ken for uh, helping us uh, get the show out further through his Facebook page.